What's going on guys? Ducks of Samara in here. Hope you guys are having a great day. What we're gonna do today is watch some of my old YouTube videos and look how weird this lighting is on my face right now and I gotta get a haircut and shave really bad but I've made some really good YouTube videos and I've also made some extremely bad YouTube videos. So I'm gonna go back in time and watch some of the worst and I'm gonna also watch some of my personal favorites. So I hope you guys enjoy this type of a video. Come on. I'm so close dude. I am so close. <laughs> Come on, bottom baby. Spot. Come on, baby. Bottom spot. <laughs> They're gonna come to your bottom left and your middle. I'll try and get you. I need mid. help, Tyler. Oh Tyler. god, here we go. Tyler, 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 I'm one shot. Oh no. Dude, Kill him. Oh no, dude. I did it. <laughs> I just imagine myself flailing my arms in the air going crazy. That was probably one of the best Call of Duty moments I could ever think of in my entire life. That was one of the funniest, most memorable things. Definitely a top five, hands down, without a doubt. All right, here we go. Hey, what's going on, guys? Space Sanson here. So now I'm going to bring you guys a story about how I lost my virginity. Wait, one second. I just want to say, guys, before I start this video, that this took a lot of guts to do. I did not want to do this at first. If you guys didn't know, the reason I made this video was actually because of Norton Chat. I was on a call with Rand, and I said, dude, I don't know what I should do for a video tomorrow. And he said, why don't you do that story that you told us at the steakhouse in Niagara? And I said, you mean when I said my virginity story? He's like, yeah, that was hilarious. I said, no. Absolutely not. I am definitely not gonna do that. He's like, dude, it's gonna be funny. And I said, well, all right, cool. I'll do it. Just graduated elementary school, and I just got my first girlfriend. I was 12 <laughs> years old. My first kiss was Michelle. A couple months go by. I'm so straightforward, dude. Ended in September. Ended in December. So I think it was like mid October or whatever. She got my number early September. So like a month goes by, and she texted me saying that she wanted to study for the midterm. But I knew she wanted to study for the midterm. <laughs> Uh, I kept going on with it. I was like, yeah, we can study. Like, come on. What I admired a lot about this video is the fact that I was so straightforward with it. Like, I don't know how I just took the camera and started talking in front of it and saying the exact story in full detail. I didn't leave out any details at all. All right, this is when I hit 50,000 subscribers. This is October 20th, 2014. That's only like seven months ago. That's pretty crazy to see how far everything's come. And today we hit 50 thousand subscribers just want to thank all of you guys so much it's crazy to see how far my channel has come in the past seven months i just want to say again thank you guys so much i mean i didn't know how well my channel would do or how bad it would. i didn't know i had no idea coming into this but i just put in a lot of work to it and i'm just really thankful that you guys actually watch some of my videos and you care about me it means a lot to me a lot more than you guys will ever know that's based that's here today i got a special video for you as you can see in the background i'm so such a new team house, douche bag, dude. house 2015 I'm super excited to move in here. Like I said before, I'm only here for a couple of days. I just want to check everything out and see how everything is, and we love it here. Uh, Dino just showed up today. I'm going to go into the house, give you guys a quick tour oh of the uh, God, entire dude. house. And like I said, I tried so hard to get views on my videos. I tried so hard to do so many different things to get views. Put video clips together, so it's going to be one continuous long clip like throughout over the entire that's video. Cool. I like and, uh, yeah, like let's that. get started. So this is the front of the house right here. It's pretty, pretty nice. It's in a nice area. Uh, undisclosed. I'm just Can't really bullshitting so hard it, right now. But we're gonna walk inside, and here we are. Phase house. Red militia. Phase up. <laughs> what? I'm gonna lock the door. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour. Um, over here, this is just a new room. Like I said, just moved in today, so we're probably gonna oh set up God. a nice sofa over here. Big, I don't know, 110-inch TV screen over here. Um, we got a nice window over here to get a nice view, and um. Yeah. So let's, let's walk around a little bit. Let's see what we got over here. Oh my god, dude. What's going on, Doug Martin? That's the official FaZe Dito gamer tag right there. FaZe space I Dito. And then you got Jake Elmendorf over here. We're about to games. This is like another room over here. Over here. Oh my god. Whew, I am sweating right now. It is hot. Oh my god. Okay, so here's the backyard, guys. We got a pool. We got a little fire pit over here. And we got speakers over here for music, so at night, you know, we can set up the speakers with the Bluetooth, play whatever music we want. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I just want to say that this is all a complete joke, and this isn't the FaZe house. I'm actually <laughs> lying to you guys to your faces, and I thought it'd be cool to make a cool joke video about it. Uh, the FaZe house is something that's been tossed around. It's been an idea, and it's probably going to happen one day, but... Um... See, at this point in time, I knew there was a FaZe house. I just wasn't allowed to talk about it. Now, there's a few videos that I'll never forget that I did, and this is one of my favorite ones of all time. This is a photo of my Instagram account talking about how my 11-year-old cousin Grant 
as leukemia. And you guys had a lot of comments. Uh, you guys are really supportive. Some of you talked about how leukemia has cut your families as well. And to me, my cousin is a true hero. So what we're going to be doing in this video is raising awareness for leukemia. I'm going to be shaving my head uh, in support of my cousin. I love this video okay. so much. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get it. I look like a baby. Do I still look like a... I still look like a baby, okay. Just kidding, it's not too bad. It's just a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> just a haircut. We were rolling up into Orlando with the crew. Handsome. 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 Alrighty. Can I take the photos? It's done. I love that video so much. This is probably the worst video I've ever uploaded on my channel by far, like 100%. I, I have to show you guys this one. This one was really bad. So, if you guys haven't heard, MLG has released their official pools for MLG Columbus, which is the tournament taking place this weekend, Friday to Sunday. God, okay, this is so, <laughs> so bad, bad, dude. This is so stupid. Green Wall 2015, it's <laughs> happening. <laughs> I tried so hard in that video. That was that was the stupidest thing I've ever put on my channel. Ever. Ever, ever in a million years. I will never do something like that again. And this is another really stupid video I did. This just goes to show like how hard I try to get views. I, I titled this My New Girlfriend. Just watch this real quick. Guys, Doug Sensor Marin here, aka Face Sensor. You can call me whatever you want, but I'm uh, such an you know, asshole, dude. I haven't uploaded a video today and I haven't been streaming in a long time. And I have a lot of reasons why, but the biggest one is because uh, you know, I got a girlfriend, and it's something that I don't like to put in my public life. I don't let to, I don't like to let you guys know about you know those types of things going on in my life because that's personal and it's something I don't think needs to be public. The that's lighting is terrible in this now. video. So without further ado, I want to introduce you guys to my uh, my girlfriend. I'm really lucky to have her. You know what, babe? You're being really quiet. Let me just give you a kiss. You ready? Oh my god, dude. Advanced warfare, baby. I'm Let's so annoying. Go. This is a funny video. This is actually a good video. I love this video a lot. Like blood, like oranges. Look at that ball. Brand new G Fuel Blood Orange Flavor. <laughs> Alright, this is the best part of the video, hands down. Like, right here. This is my favorite part of the video. Yes, dude. I know I'm getting knocked out, but. Wait for it, hold on one second. Here it comes. G Fuel. I know I get knocked out, but I just found that so funny. I thought that scene was perfect. Hey, that's right. This took a long time to do. This is like all off script, non stop talking. This is the part that took a long time to do. I had like a whole two paragraphs of lines that I need to say. <laughs> that last part of the video was like a two paragraph script that I had to memorize and I memorized that in like 30 seconds and I just did it. I'm so happy. I got that on like my second try. If I had to keep on doing that and screaming, I would have lost my voice by the end of that video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a thumbs up on it. I have so many other videos I could go back and watch for another video like this, but I just wanted to show you guys some of my worst videos I've ever made and also some of my favorite ones at the same time. My worst ones were when I really didn't know what I was doing on YouTube. I was just trying to get a lot of views and do a lot of stupid stuff, so I'm happy that I learned my way around everything, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a thumbs up on it. Like comment subscribe and let me know what your favorite video was and your least favorite video at the same time so i know exactly what not to do so hope you guys enjoyed this has been your boy doug sensor and i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i'm out guys peace as all of you guys know today is mother's day which means that you're supposed to go the extra mile to show your gratitude and your appreciation for your mom things haven't really been going my mom's way recently she's been going through